big trade coming that will be official next week is Khalil Mack is back in the AFC West. As we all know, that that was his first destination after balling out at the University of Buffalo and the Oakland Raiders at the time selected him, sent him to Chicago. Chicago, unfortunately, for the Bears, could not win a championship with him. The closest they got to that was uh, Trubisky uh, getting double doinked out of the divisional playoff round, right? Was that the wild card round? I can't remember anymore. But that was as close as they got. And now um, the Bears are trading away Khalil Mack to the Los Angeles Chargers for a second rounder this year, and it's a sixth rounder next year. And what this means is the Bears are just saying, we get it. We're just, we're just, last year we tried to do everything by half measure, thinking that we could, you know, get fields up to speed, a la Patrick Mahomes sitting there watching Andy Dalton get this team that could potentially make the playoffs as they did the year before with Trubisky as a seventh seed. And let's see what we can do. The offensive line was terrible. As predicted, it was not going to be Andy Dalton's year. They put Justin Fields in there. He looks lost behind that line. There were a couple of moments where his huggies did drop and you could show what he could do. Um, you know, once again, Allen Robinson, poof, disappeared. Tariq Cohen got hurt defensively. That was their strength. But Mac is now a charger. And the Bears are saying, we're just not going to be that good. We, we need to just get as much as we possibly can in terms of draft choices. So I totally understand what the Bears are doing right there. As for the Los Angeles Chargers, they realize what time it is. What time it is is a couple of times. Number one, it's time to win with Justin Herbert right now while he's on his rookie contract. This is year three. After this year, as Kyler Murray has shown, after three years, you can start asking for a new contract. Certainly, if you have shown, you are all that plus the biscuit, which Justin Herbert did basically in his first career game. Now he's entering year three. And this team needs to win right now. If Herbert is going to force the issue after year three, similar to Kyler Murray, even though Kyler is, seems to be unique in that regard. But he could also take that extra step forward, sort of like Josh Allen did, and the team's like, we got it. Let's just do it now. And if that's the case, you get guys, certainly when you've got the cap space right now, they sign Mike Williams to a three-year deal that's very rich. They bring in Khalil Mack, and I think they're just potentially getting started. They might have a heck of a week next week. And it makes total sense on that front, certainly with the carousel spinning in other places, which we'll talk about coming up. But I think that the Los Angeles Chargers are showing you that they also see what time it is here in Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. They're in the whose house? Rams, Rams house. Well, I mean, it's their house too, but, you know, yeah, I mean, they they're the Rams. tenants. They they're, Chargers they're, have a room. They're playing, they're, they're, they're in the role <laughs> of the Clippers <laughs> at Staples to the Lakers, essentially. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. And they're also, you know, we're all figurative rent payers in the Rams football world right now. They're literally rent payers. Yeah. Crypto.com, I'm sorry, not Staples. Got yeah, that. don't. It's all good. Yeah. Crypt. So... You need to make sure if the Rams are me have trouble converting Los Angeles sports fans into their fans, and they just won the Super Bowl in that building with a ton of stars, which you're supposed to do here yeah. in Los Angeles, as winning time shows you, right? So they need to start getting those guys. And Kalima Mack is one of those guys on defense. And him with Bosa is another way that you saw the Rams, let's get – Vaughn for Donald, already with Leonard Floyd. Let's go. This is a heck of a move. And if your team is in a division with Mahomes and Russell Wilson, and they can move, and Derek Carr is not known for his legs with his arm, but if you need to chase down Mahomes and Russell Wilson twice a year, getting Khalil Mack to go on the other side of Joey Bosa is a great way to do it. Yes, Smart. Move when you see what your current neighborhood is in your division, what your actual neighborhood is in terms of your location with your stadium and your town. 
And also, when you look up at the clock on the wall and you see it is ticking with your generationally talented quarterback who will never be this inexpensive contract-wise, maybe ever again, (laughs) you've got to do it. And I'm assuming Tom Telesco is going to be aggressive when he can start talking to free agents. Real aggressive. Now appears to be the time for the Los Angeles Chargers, certainly since the Broncos just pushed that Russell Wilson button, and we all know Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. And we'll see what happens with Derek Carr in Las Vegas. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.